Today we are going to be comparing three kettles. We have the Bonavita Dual Temp. We have the Stag EKG. This is actually the Stag EKG Plus with wooden handles, but we're just going to review the standard one. And then we have the brand new Kitchen Boss Electric Kettle. So welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose coffee gear you want to brew with at home. You'll find a lot of reviews and comparisons on this channel. So please do me a favor and like and subscribe. That helps me produce more content. If you're looking at purchasing any of these kettles, please use the link below where I'll make a slight commission at no extra charge to you. Lastly, I have an Instagram account called Kabeen's Coffee Corner. You're more than welcome to follow me there as well. All right, so disclosure, I did not pay for any of these kettles. This one I got as a gift five years ago. This one I won in a contest that was not affiliated with Fellow, and this one was sent to me by Kitchen Boss in exchange for a review. Um, so completely disclosure, this is a completely unbiased opinion. Nobody saw these, nobody paid me for anything like that, um, including Kitchen Boss, which this was the only one gifted to me from Kitchen Boss. Um, I am also making some slight tweaks to this, mine is a pre-production model. So there were some tweaks that they have made since I've gotten this kettle. And um, so I'm gonna be reviewing this kettle based off of the fact that they actually did make those tweaks that I have not seen. Um, there are some just slight issues where this beeps when you turn, some small minor things like that, but they said they resolved all that. So that's a fair disclosure on this. So starting off, we have the Bonavita kettle. This comes in at $129. Um, it does waiver on Amazon, but that's what the current price is. Um, we have the Stag EKG, which is now currently $165 without the Bluetooth um, and without these wooden accent handles. Um, with the Bluetooth, it at one point was $200, but I don't think they even make that anymore. And the handles add like an extra 50 bucks on here. This comes in at currently $120, but there's a $35 coupon that you can remove $35 from the price, which makes it about $85 on Amazon as well. Um, so I wanna start off by doing a couple things. Is One of the things that I did with this, all these kettle, kettles are very similar and all are meant for pour over, but all have a few different things on it. So what I did was I filled each kettle with 16 ounces of water, and I heated it up to 203 degrees to figure out which one would go the fastest. I then also did a pour of eight ounces to see how quickly you could pour eight ounces of water out of these kettles. So the Bonavita heated up the slowest at three, three minutes and 17 seconds, and that's 16 ounces of water to 203 degrees. The Stag EKG heat, heated up at two minutes in two minutes flat um, to 203 degrees uh, straight from cold water. 16 ounces, and then the Kitchen Boss came in at two minutes and 20 seconds. So both of these were a minute or over, around a minute faster than the Bonavita. Part of that is because these have more wattage. I believe the wattage that this puts out to heat up is about 1100 watts, this is 1500, and this is 1350. So that does come in accurate based off of the kettle. When it comes to pouring and why that matters, and I'll explain that in a second, is this one poured the fastest at eight ounces of water out in about five seconds. The fellow took 11 seconds to pour that same out eight ounces of water, and then the kitchen boss came in at nine. With pour overs, one of the things that you want to think about um, with coffee is how fast it pours out and how slow it pours out and how much control you have. Uh, there's a lot of ways kettles are used now, um, specifically with the flare espresso maker being so popular, you now fill up manual machines, which means you might wanna pour a little bit faster for that because you don't need as much precision and control. Same with if you are doing a French press or you're making tea, having a slower pouring spout would make that process a little more work. So it's way more beneficial to have the Bonavita if you're making tea or using a flare than I would say the Stag EKG because it takes twice as long to pour out of this one as it does that one. With all these, I have had absolutely no issues. This one has lasted a long time. This one's lasted quite a bit. Um, I did have maybe a couple issues when I installed a wooden handle, it kind of broke the thing. But other than that, fellow replaced it, no problems. Um, this one I've had fairly new um, and I haven't had a ton of time with it, but um, no issues and it has worked expected. Um, one of the things to think about with these is this one has built-in cord storage, so this cord wraps around underneath of the kettle to get that out of the way. This one does not have cord storage, um, and the cord's about this long, and has this little angled plug here, which can make a difference depending on where it's at. So all this cord has to be hidden somewhere. 
And then same with this one as well. This one has a thick, chunky cord similar to the Bonavita, but has a plug where it's not angled, so it could be potentially easier. You can use a top outlet instead of a bottom outlet with this. When it comes to the bases, um, I have a very small area where I have all my coffee stuff in my office at work. The bases for both of these are just a little too large to really properly fit the way that I want to. Like I said, it's really, really small. But the base for this one, the Kitchen Boss, is substantially smaller. Not a ton, but as you can see at the fellow, this has about an inch gap all around it on the fellow. And then the Bonavita one is just super chunky. Um, so I like the minimalist of this base. Um, this one is my, I also like it's just a nice square simple design. Both of these are similar on the looks of it with just one button and a few switches on the back that control a few things um, and then the LED screen that indicates the time on it. This one has all of the buttons right here which has its pros and cons um, but I've noticed with both of these you very rarely have to take either one of these out. This one has a like power adjusting right here. These have power and adjustment through this um, with a click in indicator here with a little bit of feedback and that's how you set your temperature. You click it and that's going to hold it um, simple like that. So when it comes to pouring, I find a lot of progression in kettles as it's changed over the years. Um, back five, like I want to say maybe five, seven years ago, or five-ish five, five -ish years ago, this was the go-to standard. Like this is what you would see at any competition, at any cafe. Um, and then it switched since then. And as soon as the fellow released it out, they became the go-to kettle for any person competing because of how much more control you have with it. And then when it comes to the Kitchen Boss, this one's very, very new on the market, just came out. Um, so it hasn't got a lot of grass. But since fellow released, there's been a lot more options saturated in the kettle market. Um, so you have a lot of different things to look for when it comes to it. And one kettle might not meet everybody's needs. Um, like I said, this one gives the fastest point, so it's easier to fill up, easier to do um, a French press, things like that. Uh, but you don't have near as much control while pouring with the Bonavita that you do the Stag EKG. So if you're exclusively doing pour overs and you're not doing a French press, you're not filling up a flare, you're not making tea, there's this is by far the best one to go with out of control. When I look at kind of where Kitchen Boss falls into this is I, I got this kettle and I just expected it to be a kettle. They reached out to me and said, do you want to do a review on it? And I was like, sure. Um, then I got it and I was frustrated with a lot of the little features on it that I didn't like. And then I found out all of those features were resolved in the update. So one of it is if you plug it in, you'll hear a very annoying beep every time you adjust the temperature. They fixed that problem. Um, also, there are power switches on the back, but the newer models have an auto sleep function. So you just simply turn it on just like you would have the Stag EKG and it's fine. Um, but mine doesn't have that feature. But I like this kettle for a couple reasons. One, it feels like it takes up a smaller footprint because you don't have any excess space around the kettle. Like it's tight all the way to the back and to the sides and you just have that little space in the front. So it's pretty compact in that realm of things. Of course, you have to make sure you have space for the gooseneck and the handle portion of it, um, but it's fairly compact. It has very, very good control. One of the things I've noticed with my stag is when I pour water from it, you'll often get a lot of residue on the spout itself. Um, I've had a lot of problem with that and it, it's very, very difficult to get off. So there, on my older stag, there's a very big white line from the years of pouring that I have with it. This one, I get absolutely no dribble and I feel like it stops better on there. I feel like I can pour the slowest out of any of these kettles with this one but I can also speed it up to be at nine seconds, just a few seconds faster than this one on a pour um, if I'm doing the flare or tea or whatever I want to do. This one pours a little bit faster for that. Um, and at the price point at $85, I don't think that this is double, double the value unless you're competing in competitions. I think this might still give you the best overall comfort. I think the handle's more comfortable on this one than this one. This one's the worst. The Bonavita is the worst. Um, so this is the worst. This is the second best and then the Stag is the best on it. Um, so unless you're really competing, I don't really think that the Stag is really even worth it anymore. Um, which is crazy to say and I never expected to say it. It definitely, it has the the status symbol of this is the kettle to buy. This is the most expensive kettle really that is out there. Um, and this is the one that you'll see on people's Instagrams. This is the one that you'll see uh, people use. But 
the market is so good with kettles now that I wouldn't necessarily think that it's worth 165 unless looks are incredibly important for you or you have to have the best of the best in everything. Um, I think the Kitchen Boss is more than adequate for anything that I would do and the skill level that I'm at. I've been brewing coffee at home for seven years now um, and have gotten pretty deep in it. And I think this is more sufficing for me um, and gets me by in more realms. So in other words, I don't think this one is worth like if you already have this one and it's floating around, it's really not worth upgrading to the Stag EKG um, or this one. But if you're going to straight out buy one, I think this is the best money for value nowadays. Unless this one gets cheaper because I have seen this under $50. And basically, with as good as all these kettles are, it's not really, one's not worth it more than the other. Unless you need that time thing and you you do a lot of, like a lot of tea and stuff like that, but want a gooseneck kettle or fill up a flare, but want the gooseneck for the occasional pour over, this is the way to go. If you're doing a little, quite a bit of both and evening out, this is the way to go. And if you're doing pour overs only, the Stag EKG is the way to go. Um, so that's my opinions on all this. I hope that kind of helps you understand a little bit of what to buy. And I hope uh, you found this video useful. If you could please do me a favor and like and subscribe, that will really help me produce more content. And if you're looking at purchasing any one of these, please use the links in the description. That helps me out incredibly because I do get a little bit amount of commission and that allows me to go out and buy more gear so I can review it for you um, to give you the best judgment of what is out there and what's on the market today. So thank you again so much for watching.